Hey guys, this video is going to help you uh, tether your Android device to your PS3. Uh, the two main things you're going to need is a, a PC running Vista, and you're also going to need a uh, Ethernet cable connected from your PC to your PS3. So first things first, you're going to want to download uh, PDAnet. which is what I'm using, and I'm using the free edition. And uh, you can already see I've already installed it. And uh, so go ahead and install it on your computer or use some other, any other tethering device, tethering software that you're comfortable with. When you finally have PDA installed on your Android and on your PC and try to connect, you might get, get some problems. Uh, try to make sure that your default connection type is set to disk drive. That always works for me. Okay, so now I got PDNet running on my uh, Android. And I just hit enable USB tether. Gives you some message. Now you have to go to your that little icon. The PDA net icon, hit connect, blah blah blah, and you're connected. And you should get there. You go, I have internet. Then go ahead and connect your uh, ethernet, ethernet, which is connected to your PS3 to your laptop or PC or whatever or uh, desktop or whatever the hell you're using and go to go to network and sharing center so here I have my PDN net and this unidentified network has got to be the PS3. Go to your view status. Properties. Sharing. And make sure this is checked. Just uncheck it. Try checking it. It'll give you a bunch of uh, questions. Just say yes, yes, yes. Hit OK. Oh yeah, since this connection, blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about that. Close it. Now your PS3. Let's see. Go to, where is that? Network settings. It's hard to do this with uh, one hand. Internet connection settings. I'm resetting that. Okay, that's fine. Custom. Can I see it get closer? Yes, I can. Wired connection. Uh, you can auto detect. Automatic. Do not set. Automatic. Automatic. Do not use. Enable. Enter test connection, sure. Don't worry, it's gonna, it'll first say succeeded and then it'll say fail. But for some reason that doesn't really matter. And again, if it says fail or connection failed or something like that, don't worry. Um, it gives me that message a lot and it means absolutely nothing. I get connection either way. Oh man, it's taking forever. Well, alright, test completed. Great. Go back and I would try signing in. 
And there you go. Just to check it out, you're online, that you are online. Those three boxes should load up with some fancy pictures. Oh, that's taking forever. Well, I know I'm online because I can see that I have friends on. I can probably go to the place, PlayStation Store. See that? Cool. Uh, if you guys have, have any questions, uh, just leave me a comment and I'll try to help you guys out. Later.